Specialty Sports Desk. Get the best total deal guaranteed. Palmetto Ford Lincoln. For 47 years, the Low Country symbol of trust. Today marks a little history for the Citadel at Johnson Haygood. It's been 24 years since they've hosted a game in the postseason right here in Charleston back in 1992. Let's get right into the game. Brent Thompson of the Bulldogs receiving their first action in the postseason. On the first drive of the game, the Citadel having their way with Dominique Allen, the quarterback, with the late pitch to Reggie Williams. Williams would take it the inside, about inside the 30-yard line there. In the red zone, it would lead it to the kicking game. Cody Clark, the Bulldogs, would hit from 23 yards out is good down the middle. The Citadel lead 3-0. A few seconds left in the first half. Cody Clark's been clutch. Tip from 25 yards out, it's no good. Cardi Cody was one for three today. In the fourth, the Wofford Terrier is taking over on third and six. Freshman quarterback Joe Newman running to his left, has some blocks and some space. Newman would take it all the way to the end zone for a 36 yard rushing touchdown. Wofford takes their first lead in the fourth, 10 3. Final seconds of the game on second and ten. Allen's pass finds Wofford's Devin Watson for an interception. Watson has nothing but space, turns it into a pick six. The Terriers eliminate the Dogs, winning 17-3, putting a historical season to bid. Now, I got to hand it to Wofford. They played a very tough physical football game again two weeks in a row. Uh, went on the road this time and beat us, and it was a uh, it was definitely a good win for them. I thought they did a great job. We had a special season, didn't turn out. We wanted to uh, extend the season a little bit longer, and it, it didn't happen that way. But uh, we're proud, or, you know, we're happy. We're proud to be Southern Conference champions two times in a row. Uh, they can't take that away from us. And uh, you know, there's uh, there's certainly to build on that. We certainly got to try to get over this second round hurdle that we've uh, stumbled over the past two years. As for their SoCon opponents, with Wofford beating the Citadel, the Terriers advance to the next round of the playoffs with a matchup with a 10-3 Youngstown Penguins. With two weeks preparation, that it was going to probably be tougher than it was than Spartanburg. I love this group of kids. Some of them are real goofy, but the one thing that they're not goofy about is when they get out on that field and they strap it on and they play.